What's up everybody, how you doing today? I see a lot of people out here creating limits for themselves saying they can't do something. I see a lot of people out here saying that it's too hard. You know, when you focus on what's too hard, you're not gonna get it done. When you focus on just starting somewhere, then you'll eventually get it done. You go to the gym, see these people around you, and they're all in shape, and it's so intimidating, which is why Planet Fitness was created, because of people who are intimidated. And it's good, you know, it's good, but say if you don't wanna go to Planet Fitness, or you wanna go to a gym, but people around you just so in shape, and they just intimidate you, what are you gonna do then? You gotta focus on yourself. You gotta stop focusing on everybody else's results. Because here's the thing, if you push past your limits, then eventually somebody's gonna look at you and say, wow, look at that person. I can't do what they can do. You wanna be an example for somebody watching you. Maybe that person in your family was waiting for you when you said you were going to the gym and say, I'll wait and see what you do. Because they're waiting to see if you motivate them to do it by your results. But if you give up on your results, if you give up on yourself, then nothing will ever happen for yourself. Nothing will ever happen for people around you. Nothing will ever happen. And when you stop believing in yourself, you gotta understand what kind of ripple effect that will have on your circle and the people around you that you probably could have changed for the better. But you were too afraid to go to the gym and start somewhere. If you don't start somewhere, then you're going to continue to look at yourself with no confidence. You're going to continue to look at yourself unhappy the way you look. You're going to continue to look at yourself discouraged. You must get there and start somewhere. I don't care if you're doing leg press and all you can do is five. I'd rather have five right than 20 wrong. Okay? If I'm having a class and you see people in my class that are in shape and you're like, I can never be in their shape, well then you lost. The battle's over. You lost. You gotta think about your results because eventually you'll get there. And everybody that I've ever trained who has gotten results have not worried about the other person unless they was making a competition to say, I'm going to look like that person. You know, because in life, you're three C's, which I always say. You're complacent, you're complaining, or you're competing. When you're growing in life, you're competing. When you're not growing in life, and you're just stuck, you're stagnant, or you're complacent. And the other phase is you're, you're always complaining about what you can't have, what you can't do. You don't want to be in that mode. You don't want to be in those two modes, all right? You want to be in the part where you're always competing because when you're competing, you're growing. You're always finding the better version of yourself. But if you don't find a better version of yourself, then you're doing the other two Cs. And you must understand that you must push past your limits. Every single time you go to the gym, every single time you read a book, every single time you study, you must push past your comfort zone and your limits. If you don't do that, then you have sealed your fate. Everybody have a great day.